all the things that we've looked at in this program, the best place to be is that situation where the executives are fully engaged in what you're talking about. They're bouncing off of each other. They love the data. They're coming up with new ideas. The trick for the presenter is to make sure and not miss anything. In this segment, we're going to watch how Andy Billings successfully manages one of these energetic discussions among the executives. My goals in the meeting with the board are going to be to get their support and agreement to change the way we develop products in our company so that we can be more profitable at the same time that we're more creative. In this segment, you'll learn how to listen well, capture the issues, accept executive input, and outline the next steps. I got a couple of asks for this group. I want you to be in support and help us charter a working group across the, the company business units. Um, and again, let me just emphasize that just critical for you as the leaders of the business units to be in support of this. I'm thinking it's about a 15 minute conversation. Is that still, Vern, is that still working? Yeah, that okay. sounds good. I'm certainly giving thought to additional acquisitions we might make. And uh, you know, you might want to speak to whether you think this is going to exist simply impact the existing companies that we've already brought into the fold and how it will, you know, affect those that we right. acquire going forward. So yikes, I mean not only could be three, could be five. Well six. it could be five and at different stages. You don't right. want to necessarily impose this day one for a new organization we're bringing in. Well, so yeah, and that's yeah, a, great to, point. To so Steve, good good criteria point. for as we build this. Challenge that we're facing is our customers are not getting an integrated yeah. set of, yeah. of solutions for their business. So Andy, is, is the problem um, uh, common language internally or, or is it uh, about speed to market and are, are you thinking about an agile methodology? Well I think agile would nest within the development framework, so development framework would be a higher level mm -hmm. ish, set of issues around what are our milestones, not necessarily what are engineering standards or engineering development packages. Now that Andy has set up the issues he wants approval on, Here's some advice from the executives about how to make it go smoothly and get what he came for. If it's going in a direction where people are asking questions and, and they're getting engaged and there's a lot of passion in the room, you absolutely, th those, those events actually don't happen that often, so you actually sort of have to um, thrive on that and realize that, uh, the, that you've, 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 uh, you've, you're having a successful presentation as opposed to thinking, oh my god, I didn't even you know, get to my third slide. Every time you hear someone say, how come you haven't thought about X, or have you thought about X? You stop, particularly if you're new at this, and say, oh, let me write that. So um, your question was, uh, uh, why don't I think about X? That allows you at least another 10 seconds to go, well, I don't know, what's X? And then you go, well, we have thought about it this way. Um, is, was that your, did I answer your question? If the answer is no, you write some more and say, well, I think that's an excellent point. I've been in situations where the executives are, you know, start this kind of discussion. And what happens is there's this, it's a unique opportunity for you to understand kind of what all these executives' point of view actually is. You, you have this unique opportunity to see who is a detractor of this line of thinking and who is a promoter of it. The situation might not be resolved in that meeting because this might be something that's been going on for quite some time, but at least it gives you an opportunity as a presenter to clearly understand each person's point of view. It's just very important to to let people have their conversations with each other because they're, they're the dynamic team that's, that's working to lead the organization. Now let's watch as Andy applies this advice and succeeds in getting his request. Note also that he gets help from Vern, his sponsor. I think it's a great idea uh, from the moment we started talking about it. Uh, my one question is, is the timeline and I think a little bit to the issue we talked about before and how much it's going to cost over the timeline. I mean, the faster we can do it, uh, uh, the happier I would be. I think we have to recognize if we bring three different things together, we're going to, somebody's going to have to change. And there's a couple people who are going to have to 
things a lot differently than they've done in the past. And there's going to be some cost and some time to get there. But I, I agree, it's a great idea. But we ought to recognize and talk about, is, could this slow things down for the next year and a half while we make this change? Uh, uh, we, not, we need to keep delivering software to our customers. So. And Ned, I'm really particularly interested in that change adoption as it relates to new acquisitions we might undertake. Yeah. So I'm very concerned as we look at downstream acquisitions that Mike and I have been considering. You know, I want to be sure on that point that we think it through. This sounds like something that uh, would work for uh, a waterfall process, but uh, uh, that just assumes you know what the features are going yeah. up in fr uh, up yeah. front and, right. and knowing what the customers need when you're finished with the product. So today we're only asking to start the process and to charter the working group and to create the methodology. And I think you've given me really good call outs around don't hurt the business in the meantime while you're working on a common methodology. You've talked about making it extensible if we mm -hmm. add more or products. Steve, you talked about making sure that it's compatible with different engineering or development methodologies within it. Well, I'd uh, like you to work with Mike, too, though, because he's been looking at the acquisitions and he's got a marketing charter. Uh, Vern, can you yeah, pull no, Mike I, I, into this planning? With yeah, me? we'll do that. And we, uh, Andy, you've spoken to some of the direct reports to uh, those of us in the room, and they seem to be very supportive of this. And they're the ones that are really going to have to implement this. So I think we've got generally a good game plan. Uh, what we like to do today is get uh, the group's support on proceeding, and if we can do that, we'll work out the details. So how about if, if Vern and I will kick off the group, we'll get representatives from the different parts of the business and these, these issues, we'll shape a plan and bring it back to this group for a review before we go forward. Great idea. That'd be great. That's great. I think the discussion with the executives went really well. Not only did we get the okay to move forward, we got them really engaged in the conversation. And I think when they're talking and thinking and, and those, even some of those conversations develop between pairs and trios in the meeting, that's their way of thinking it through. I always feel like when an executive is talking, they're getting themselves used to the idea and you're selling. And when you have to do a lot of talking, you're not selling. I think when you summarize what people have to say, it acknowledges their concerns and they can feel comfortable that the issues that they raised are going to be successfully addressed. And I think when you're able to talk about what the next steps would be, they're in a position to say, yeah, I support that. They might not necessarily have that in mind, but if it seems like a good idea, they'll, they'll support it and endorse it, you know, and then you're, you're almost all the way home. It felt terrific when it was all over. One, you know, you get to get out of that room, you know, which is always challenging. And secondly, you know, we got everything accomplished that we want, plus a little more, I think. We got um, a spirited debate and engagement, and I came away with a couple new ideas that I wouldn't otherwise have had. Andy kept summarizing, here's what I heard you say. And, and, and that's just an incredibly effective technique for anybody in an organization to kind of pull all the strands together and get acknowledgement. It's not only a summary, but when there's no objection to that, it's in fact, ooh, we can move to the next step. I love that we didn't have to fight with your presentation. Uh, uh, often somebody comes in with the kind of preparation you have. We had a meaningful dialogue that could happen, and the presenter wants to go back to his slides, and we're all like, oh, damn, you know, there, there went that no, opportunity. Yeah. Walk away from that and get what you really came here for, what you got. When your executive team gets into an energetic discussion, realize that this is a good thing. Your job is to listen well, capture the issues, accept executive input, and outline the next steps.